Hi, this is Karen from Cardio Golf. Let's groove your swing. We're using the Shorty Practice Training Club. This club is short so that you can swing inside. You're not going to hit the ceilings or the walls. The club head is closer to the hands, so you can really learn how to square that club face at impact. We're also using the Cardio Golf Slope. It's a fitness platform, so you can do exercises with it, but we're also going to use it to rehearse those uphill and the downhill lies, you know, the ones that you get on the golf course, but there's nowhere ever to practice them. I like to put people on an uphill lie, and the uphill lie helps you tilt your spine away from the target, so it's easier to rotate those shoulders around the spine, where a lot of people go wrong, especially when they're on a flat lie, is that they actually tilt towards the target, so that restricts the shoulder turn. So use the slope to monitor your head and keep it centered. Try to keep it over the green part as you swing back on the downswing at through impact. And even as you follow through, you can see your arms past your body, but your head stays centered and then it rotates to look at the target and then it goes up. Where people go wrong is that they might sway like this or move their head and then get ahead of it on the downswing. So keeping your head centered over the green will help you keep your head behind the ball for more rotation. So getting on a down slope helps you feel how your weight shifts towards the target. Where people go wrong is they get to the top of the swing and in an attempt to help the ball up in the air, they actually hang back. So a down slope with your back foot higher like this actually helps you push off and go towards the target so you can hit down and through instead of up like this. From here, make sure you're parallel to your slope as if that were your target line. And then we can rehearse those positions, the halfway back position right here, the top of that back swing, the transition. You can stop at impact and check your club face, your release, and your follow through. To hit it farther, you need to increase your club head speed, so you need to practice swinging faster. If you practice like that, swinging faster inside where there's no judgment of where the ball goes, that swing speed will feel more comfortable on the golf course to help you get more power. Balance is so important in the golf swing, so if you practice like this, doing a single leg, balance exercise like this, holding the position, trying to really stay steady, and then maybe even doing some rehearsal back swings like this. This will really help you increase your stability and your balance, so then when you get on the flat surface with two feet, the swing will be a piece of cake. So you can see when I'm at a down slope, there's an angle. The angle goes down even into the ground. So as you start your downswing, you want your shaft to be angled at that same angle as the slope, so you don't want to release the club early. Can you see how the club is going down? So now the shaft doesn't match the angle of the slope here, so you want to practice getting into the position at the top here, shifting your weight, and then your arms come down and you're holding the angle right here. Set up using your slope as an alignment tool, making sure that your feet, your knees, your hips, your shoulders, your eye line are parallel to where you want the ball to go. I'll set up two slopes together like this. So this simulates a downhill side hill lie. So you can see the ball would be well below my feet. So the sensation is you have to hinge more from your hips. You have to keep your chest over the ball. And then as you go through, you really make sure you keep your spine angled. So that's a great way to help people that tend to stand up through the shot. You have to be very careful because this is hard plastic, but you can rehearse that impact position, making sure that you keep the angle and the wrist as you come through and you're rotating through so you can see when I hold the angle and I have my hands in front of the club head at impact, I come down at the same angle of the slope where people would go wrong as if they would release it early and hit this. And then you can shake your tail feathers a little bit like that to get some tension out. 